Right, thank you for joining me in this video. We're going to be talking about scale drawings today. And um, scale drawings are very important because imagine if you ask someone for a map of Queensland and they gave you a map that was the size of Queensland. So maps can't be a full copy of the state or the country that it refers to. Way too big. Similarly, when you're boarding, building a small model, uh, small construction plans, the size of the tiny thing would be just as annoying. So to make maps and construction plans and things easier to work with, uh, they're typically drawn to a scale. And a scale is a ratio of the measured length that you measure with your ruler on a drawing to the actual length uh, in reality. Okay, so a couple of key ideas to have a look at. Uh, first off is that scale drawings are exactly the same shape as their object and will clearly display the scale ratio, okay? So nothing changed about the way they look, the only thing that's changing is their size. They're sort of being scaled down or scaled up, that kind of thing. Right, the scale in a drawing is always in a particular order because remember with ratios, order is very important. So you always have the drawing length to the actual length, okay? And for example, a scale of one is to 1,000 would mean that the real lengths are 1,000 times larger than those measured on the drawing, okay? And uh, 50 to one though indicates that lengths on the drawing are 50 times larger than the actual lengths, okay? So that would be getting smaller. Right, if one of the ratio parts is a number one, then the other part is called the scaling factor. Okay, well, the scale factor. These scales are very easy to calculate if that's the case. Uh, a little diagram that de demonstrates the process for you kind of looks like this. To go from the scale length to the actual length, you're going to multiply if you're doing this part. Okay, and if you're going from the actual length down to the scale length, you will divide. Okay, so that's sort of the key way to sort of think about it. Right, uh, converting units is a necessary skill when dealing with scales. So here's a quick refresher. So if you are going from uh, <clears throat> kilometers to meters, you're going to be multiplying by 1,000 because there is 1,000 meters in a kilometer. To go from meters to centimeters, you will be multiplying by 100, 100 centimeters in a meter. And to go from centimeters to millimeters, you will be multiplying by 10 because there is 10 uh, millimeters in a centimeter. Now, similarly, if you are going from, say for instance, meters to millimeters, then you need to times by 100 times by 10. So you do both of these steps, which happens to just be times by a thousand, okay? So remember to do that if you're skipping steps. Right, to go the other way, to go from millimeters to centimeters. Here, this side would be times by 10 to go down. Uh, this way, we need to divide by 10. To go from centimeters to meters, we need to divide by 100, because there's 100 centimeters in a meter. And to go from meters to kilometers, we simply divide by a thousand because there are a thousand meters in a kilometer. Pretty easy. Uh, it is something that you can muck up, but um, hopefully you should be able to become familiar with it. Right. A couple of examples. Right. Let's just say that you have uh, some construction plans that show a scale of one is to 100. You measure a room to be 3.5 centimeters by four centimeters. Uh, what will the actual area of the real room be? So a couple of ways we can go about solving this. Probably the best way is to draw ourselves a little picture. And let's just say this is our four centimeter measured length. And this is our 3.5 centimeter measured length. Right, so if our scale is one is to 100, because we have a one here, that means that we can say the scale factor is 100 times by 100, okay? So therefore, four centimeters 
Uh, do, 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 do. Yep. Uh, actually, I'll show you how to set these up properly, even without. Right, because scale factor makes things easy, but if our scale is one centimeter is to 100 centimeters, okay, one is to 100, and we have measured four centimeters to get from here to here, we have multiplied by four, therefore we need to multiply by four. So four centimeters is to 400 centimeters. Okay, and it's probably best to do that in meters, so four centimeters is to four meters. Okay, right, so that's that length here, we know that's four meters. Uh, let's just use our scale factor for the last one. So 3.5 centimeters gets goes to uh, 3.5 times 100 which is 350 centimeters, which is 3.5 meters, okay? So now we know that this length here in reality is four meters, this one here, and we know that this one is 3.5 meters. So simply I'll do the area sort of in this little piece here. So the area is length times width, which is four times 3.5 which is, I think it's 14, let's just check. 14. 14 meters squared, okay? So that's how you'd go about that one. I'm just showing you a couple of quick steps that you'll have plenty of opportunity to practice sort of the shorter, smaller stuff in class. Right, here's me uh, using cool Google Earth. This is uh, our school and Fred Stoltz Oval. And as you can see, I've measured across here with Google Earth to show that that is about 160 meters on the diagonal there, okay? Now, you've measured this distance across the Fred Stoltz Oval to be about 160 meters. If you want this to be four centimeters on a drawing, what would the scale factor be? Right, a couple of things that we need to do. Okay. So we want our ratio, our ratio is four centimeters is to 160 meters. But we know that we need to have things in the same units when we're expressing our ratios properly. So 160 meters equals, uh, we multiply by 100 to get from meters to centimeters, so is one. 16,000 centimeters, okay? So we know now that four centimeters is to 16,000 centimeters. Now, uh, remember with our scale factors, we wanted to try and get one of our, our scale pieces down to one. So we're gonna probably work on our four here. We wanna get our four centimeters down to one centimeter. And so that means to get from four to one, you divide by four. That means on this side of our scale, we're gonna to have to divide by four. 16,000 divided by four is equal to 4,000 centimeters. So that means that our scale is going to be one is to 4,000. So this is our scale. So when we have, when we're looking for scale factor, we know that if one of our numbers is a one, like this one here is, then the other is our scale factor. Therefore, the scale factor is 4,000. And you might wanna say times by 4,000, because sometimes you can have dividing scale factors, okay? Right, so there's a quick little introduction into scale drawings and things. You'll have plenty of opportunity to practice that in class. Uh, come, to, come see me with any questions or interesting things that you might have uh, found during this video. Thank you.